Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We and I have I ventured over a border again. I have left I have left the country again for the first time in probably since what about May last year when I was at Smail Home Tower. I'm back over the border into Scotland. And today we're at St Abbs. Or this morning we're at St Abbs because it's 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 well it's it's very early for me. The uh we, it was a it was a five o'clock alarm. Uh I don't do these very often. So we've come up to St Abbs. I've never been here before, down to the harbour. It is stunning. Um, so stunning, in fact. And the fact that the uh, sunrise could well pop off big style, then uh, I would like to be in about seven places at once. When, 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 hopefully, when this light kicks off. Um, over here, we've got fantastic rock formations. Got a beautiful leading line in off this uh, sea wall. Sea wall. Andrew's getting all set up there uh, for that shot. He's bag he's bagged that one straight away. Uh, you should have seen the delight on his face as he spotted it. Um, I'm a bit torn. Ideally, I would like to have been up a height and looking over the harbour as the sun rises. But I don't think that's going to be an option because I haven't got time to get back up the hill. Uh, so I'm just going to look to see what kind of compositions I can get down here around the harbour. Uh, really characterful uh, lifeboat hut there. Uh, that, that could work really well. But I think I'm in the wrong position for that as well. So. Uh, absolutely a gorgeous morning with a with the with a potential of a man, monumental uh, sunrise we've got high cloud we've got a gap on the horizon so it could get very very exciting very quickly um, yeah just excited but also a bit scared because it's normal landscape photography I'll save it save the ICM stuff till later so I am I have come wielding tripod even my even brought out my 70 to 200 lens as well so we might even get some detailed shots from out here as well so yeah just gonna wait try to figure out a composition to use and then get set up um, but yeah keen to get going ready for this sun to rise oh, I'm starting to panic now <laughs> um, I came back around the, the side of the harbour and it's just it's not it's now not working so I'm heading back back round to where Andrew and Tom are and I think I'm gonna go to the end of near the end of that pier uh, and look basically look into the sun I am not convinced this sunrise is gonna come away as good as what I thought about five minutes ago um, oh, the excitement of landscape photography so, I'm going to nip along with that pier and hopefully, because what I'd like to get is a little bit of separation between the uh, lifeboat hut and the houses in the background. So it's just getting that position where it kind of works. Right, I think I've got my first uh, composition kind of sorted out. Um, hopefully with the wide angle lens, 16 mil, gonna get the, basically this corner, the corner of this, the end of this pier is kind of jutting out into the, uh, into the scene. We've got the end of this pier, holding that side of the, the composition in. And uh, we've got the lifeboat hut. Um, on the left and we're also getting the kind of a view into the harbour and, and up in, in the houses of the village beyond so I think it kind of works here we've got enough separation between the the hut and the house that house on the top of the hill we've got some of the uh, the sea stacky kind of rocks on there um, so I think that's the first composition hopefully we'll uh, we'll get the light that's going to work and then there's some more beautiful coastline to explore uh, I mean straight 
straight, straight round behind us on this side. Some lovely uh, cliff, cliffs and rocks to work with. We've got some sea walls to play with as well for some, maybe some long exposures, even though the water's not moving fast. Uh, so maybe it's not stupidly long exposures like I was doing in a previous video, uh, but we'll see. But yeah, just hoping that this light kind of kicks off now. <laughs> it seems to be getting, seems to be not as good and it is now two minutes past eight, sunrise is 8.17, so I've got a quarter of an hour to get, get things kind of set up, ready for, uh, for working with. see here the uh, the uh, very low clouds are just starting to uh, to hit so Tom's getting his 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 view directly into the Sun there or where the Sun's coming from I am actually hoping that uh, all this sky above us gets a bit of color if not I wouldn't say it's been a wasted journey but <laughs> the uh, five o'clock alarm might not have been worthwhile Now, as, I, as I've just walked back across here, the one thing I'm kind of concerned about with this composition that I've chosen is there's no one strong element to it. There's a lots of lots of bits to it, so I am kind of relying on the light playing ball. Um, you know, hopefully the light can be the the shining star of the image. Uh, yes, we've got the light boat up. There's a there's a lovely white cottage in the middle there and obviously we've got the harbour as well but I'm just a little bit a little, con little bit concerned that there's no one strong element to it I might have bitten off more than I could chew uh, so yeah I'm really hopeful that this this light kicks off further into the into the conversation this way um, right the colours kind of just creeping further and further into the into the cloudage as the sun rises. Well, maybe better off once the actual sun actually comes up above the horizon, um, and then we should hopefully the harbour will be bathed in that lovely warm orange light. Um, the other benefit of being at this end of the of the of the harbour of the pier here is that basically all I just need to spin the camera around when the light hits and we've got these lovely cliffs um, so yeah we don't need, really need to find it in other composition just wanting some looking for some nice casting light that'll light those cliffs up and then we've got two shots straight away minimal thinking and already I'm starting to think about for when the Sun is actually up and the lights a bit more stable than I'm kind of thinking about some square compositions. Um, I mean, one straight away that I'm thinking about now is Lifeboat Hut. And then on the top of the hill, we've got that house there. Uh, we've got that. I mean, that is just a square. And I think that could work really nicely. So, thinking about these things straight away, we've got this, you know, this lovely sea wall as well. I'm going to play with that and get that get that going so come on light come a little bit further in i think at this rate i'm gonna i'm, I'm not gonna get my shot i'm just gonna have to wait for the uh, for the for the sun to rise and the light to paint the scene which i hope how, how i'm hoping it really does because we've got some lovely 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 
lovely tunes in the sky there. I may I may have picked the wrong composition for for this sunrise. Arr! Landscape photography, so frustrating. Well, that was a quick rush around. Uh, the lights seems to have gone now. <laughs> or to be uh, stuck behind a cl the clouds for probably the rest of the day. Um, but I managed to fire off a few shots, uh, both the harbour and turning turning around, like I said, I would to shoot the uh, the cliffs in the background. Um, and also quickly nipped uh, nipped along to catch the very last rays of light along this seawall, uh, which hopefully have come out. So I've bracketed all my, pretty much all my exposure so I can, as per usual, I can blend them all in for a shop later, make the best of a bad job. Uh, polish, t polish a turd and all that. It's what I, it's what I do. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed, everything kind of works out and I can cobble something together in post to make it all look pretty. Uh, so yeah, that's probably the about as epic as the light's going to get. So it's a little, now it's all about just looking for some some detailed shots. Maybe just get the long lens out and uh, pick out some squares. Um, lots of lovely, uh, characterful cottages around the harbour to to hopefully not pry into anybody's windows. <laughs> uh, but be a few. A good few views to take, anyway. <laughs> All right, that's well. We have uh, been, done a couple hours now. Um, sunrise was all right in the end. I think I've got a couple of shots, uh, but spent the, the rest of the time just walking around with a tripod, camera on the top of it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I say the stupidest things, uh, <laughs> and just looking for like small details, little scenic shots. So whatever's. Whatever I've shot and it's decent, I'll uh, put it in after the video.
yeah um so we're out for the rest of the day now so in a future video you may may well see more of the berwickshire coastline as we head further north i think we're heading north yeah right so uh, that'll do for today thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please do like comment below subscribe if you're not already ring the bell for notifications i think that's everything and until the next one keep my heart see ya